still I'm just sat down. It's 11 o'clock. I've been up since 6. I normally get up around 6 during the summer and aim to get most of my work finished by 11 o'clock, which I have. So the rest of the day will be spent um, in and out of the cottage around the woodland. Um, starting to cut back because <laughs> there's a bit of a party going on out there and it ain't looking good at the moment <laughs> everyone's gone a bit wild yeah just looking out the window if i take you to the front door i had just sat down there my daughter bought me some flowers when i was ill the weekend before last and they're still beautiful and I've got my washing all ready to take to the laundrette because I've got too much to do by hand there look at this it's a bit windy and there's lots and lots of stormy clouds up there but then there's blue sky on the top of Kilronan mountain if you just see through the trees ah it's a beautiful day it's very fresh it's lovely so there's been a bit of work going on here in the kitchen. When I was up um, in, well, when I was up visiting family over the weekend, went to a little antique shop and bought this beautiful piece of hand-worked um, cotton lace, or it could be linen. Yes, yeah, probably linen, actually. Just gorgeous. I just fell in love with it and I thought, oh, there's so much love has gone into that. I don't know if any of you know much about these beautiful hand-picked lace, but the actual um, design is just literally picked out from the threads in the material. So it's a complete labour of love. And whoever has made that is long gone. Goddess bless them. And then this beautiful hand crocheted finish. Isn't that gorgeous? So I put that on the table and then I thought, look, gosh, I've got to do something about the curtains on there. The window was dirty. There was spiders living it up in the curtains and lots and lots of the windowsill was beginning to kind of crumble, you know, under the paint. So I removed layers and layers of paint, scraped it all off, well, most of it anyway, and proceeded to wash it down as well because there's lots of little things up there so it's had its first coat i'm going to give it a second coat it's just um it's a lovely paint actually someone asked me on the comments what the paint was okay so i just use the quick dry satin wood and this is called antique white so it's a pretty cheap paint and it does the job it does the job beautifully so another coat, um, I don't know if I'll bother putting the curtains back up now for the summer and I might even leave the stained glass off the window for the summer because it's lovely just to look out. A little bit of a change, eh? And a change is as good as a rest, so the saying goes. I brought some driftwood back as well and I'm thinking about doing a little, a little piece of woven art. I've kind of half started it. Yep, it's raining. Those storm clouds have broken. Someone was asking me yet again about the name of this rose and I'm really sorry I don't have a name for the rose because the rose started its life as an illicit cutting. So having taken the cutting, I didn't have the gall <laughs> to go and ask the owner of the house, excuse me, what's that rose you have out there? <laughs> that too embarrassed. I did a runner. Lots of bees and wasps around the Catoni Aster. Now they love this. They go for these tiny little flowers. Let me just get a little close up. Look at this. These tiny little flowers, they open up and they're just so attractive to the bees and the wasps that they go around seeking Seeking little bits of, look at this little wasp on here. Seeking little bits of um, 
sweet food. Mm. And so all the beautiful berries, all the lovely flowers then turn into berries. I did a little cut back on it. It has got a few dead bits, but uh, yeah, it's looking good. I was just saying in the kitchen earlier that the growth um, is just so amazing. Between Bealtaine, which is the 1st of May, and the summer solstice, which of course is the 21st of June, mid uh, midsummer, it's it's just well I just call it crazy growth and it is crazy and there's very little I can do or want to do to stem the flow of the growth so I normally go in you know with with a with a real commitment to cut back sometime around late June early July before lunasa hopefully and kind of get things a little bit more in shape for Lunasa. Some lovely flowers on the clematis here. There's so many different kinds of clematis. Please, let me just get a little close up here as well. Look at that. Isn't that divine? Hmm? Just divine. Yeah. And that splash of red over there is that beautiful Pieris forest flame. I've got to get my red cabbage into the ground. In fact, I've got a list as long as my arm of things that are urgently needing to be done. Oh, hey ho. Oh, look. The beautiful perennial poppies are coming up. Look at that. Ooh, how lovely.